and gentlemen my name is Lenore von Stein and this is another episode of the facts <laughs> and I'm here tonight with Beth Griffith uh, Bern Nix and Bolotowski and tonight we're being joined by Richard Gross and tonight uh, we're doing I'm doing the third part in a, in a, in a series uh, I, I call uh, it's about the future and it's called Palau from the future um, and um, it's set a thousand years from now uh, and, and people in this period are, in, in this story that I'm making, when I'm going to read this, uh, are benefiting as well as suffering from what I call empire residue. Uh, in, in this thousand year period, several concentrations in wealth, so in the thousand year periods that led up to it, uh, were eviscerated from the inside and the outside, like the Roman Empire, but none of them stood as long as the Roman Empire. Little punk empires. <laughs> By comparison. <laughs> what did we get done while we were standing? <laughs> Surreal. Um, so we're rehearsing some of the pieces. It is a rehearsal too. I mean, it's part three, but it's a rehearsal. We're rehearsing some of the pieces that are going to be uh, in part four, <laughs> which is not a rehearsal. Uh, and um, <coughs> so you, you don't need me to count this out, right? It's in five eight. Well, not that. That's why you don't need me to count it out. <laughs> Should I do something in five eight? Well, what you should you do? A, you can I'll you give us the cue? I'll oh, soprano. Who does the cue no, on this? Andrew. Uh, I think Andrew. It's bar six. I have okay. here. Bar six. Bar six. No, it's an improvisation. Oh, it's an improvisation. It's okay. An improvisation. All right. All right. All right. Do the improvisation. I don't know if I can count up to seven, but I'll try with five. <laughs> Thank you. 
I have to rearrange my seat. I'm a little too close to oh, here. Oh, OK. Well, we'll, yeah. we'll wait until after. OK, yeah. we'll, at the break, we'll do that, OK? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I am. Um, I've been, I, I, the, the, as we tape this, it's, 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 it's a few weeks away from the presidential election, and I've been, um, one of the things, that, you know, aside from these candidates who I, I, can't, I really can't pay much attention to, because it's not good for you, uh, is, is uh, I, the, the, the pundits, who, st who the people who speak about what's possible and what's not possible. If I'm looking at Channel 13, where they're a little, they're a little better educated and, and, and more on the inside of the power, even more on the inside of the power structure, and it's quite remarkable. What are they talking about? Are they talking about what you, what's possible when you control these huge swaths of resources, how you can move these resources around and what you can do and, and you know, how you can keep the people at bay, more or less, you know, that, that they're really secondary to the whole story. Uh, it's, it's, um, so in this story that I've written, you know, mass communication and science, they're, they're, they're among the factors that created and shortened the lifespans of these empires, like the empire we're living through right now. So people in the year 3000 that I'm picturing, they're living with a kind of mixture of calm, insight, and a very old-fashioned, well, maybe not very, but an old-fashioned cynicism. Um, good ideas that have emerged over the course of human history, they weren't forgotten. Uh, they were pushed forward into new eras, even as they were diluted and, you know, betrayed. Shoot up, boys! Shoot up, for a certain amount of time, and then something else will happen, but they will be able to do this. You know, what are we talking, a lifetime? Is that the span? Let's look at, oh, so we look at Surya. I took it, I did take it out of order. Yeah. Oh, my Gatskis. Uh, so um, should we do mumbling revised? Does that yeah. make life easier for everybody? So this is another piece that we're practicing. And uh, well, we're practicing all these pieces. And um, so you need me to do anything here? Who has the cue? Me. OK. <laughs>
when I watch these news people, I get this feeling. I used to have this a lot when I was a kid, that it's like two different worlds. I mean, here I'm watching these people in these nice suits with these nice jobs, with these nice health care plans and these nice pensions. And it's, it's another world from the world that I live in and so many other people live in uh, a step away from whatever they're a step away from or actually in it, you know, if they're living on the street already. It's, 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 in this story, uh, the central character in my story, Palau, and um, sh uh, she's focused on her next uh, love relationship. Um, she wants to predict the course of that relationship. Um, uh, she, so she's worried, you know, should she be reserved with someone that she doesn't trust, but that, the, but, uh, yeah, but she doesn't want to do that because that's not going to be a very fulfilling relationship. Uh, she won't learn much, and she wants to learn. She wants to grow. She's 210. She's going to live to be 300, alive and healthy, and you know, doing all kinds of things. So she's she wants to, you know, be this a good relationship for however long it lasts, setting her up for the next one. And um, so, what criteria can she use? And 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 she decides she's very frightened to get involved, and she decides what to do is to uh, analyze her fear that that will be her brace, that that'll be the thing that will protect her uh, if she she analyzes it. But but the first problem with analyzing it is that uh, she she's afraid that she'll be so anxious that she won't be able to be objective, that she'll find the problem and right away come up with an answer, you know, like like an impressionist, but it won't be, you know, it, 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 she won't take enough time because she'll be so anxious, so she won't solve things, so just go around like a dog chasing her. She's worried about I don't want to be a dog chasing my oh, 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 oh. I don't want to be a dog chasing my I don't want to be a dog chasing my I don't want to be 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 a dog chasing my tail chasing my tail. I mean, if, if that's gonna, if that's what I have to do to get to the next place, then. What's he playing? I don't know. Criteria. Okay, sorry. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> next piece up. Oh, okay, okay, I didn't know. Hit it, maestro. Okay. <laughs> How can I judge? There is no but much I don't know. And I don't know why to take it so this thing losing weight. I'm losing weight. Okay, okay. And, um, yes, I am. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's teaching me a lot. Not that I haven't been on a diet one way or another my whole life, practically, but I'm learning a lot about food this time that I, and myself that I didn't know before. I'm learning how to uh, eat the things I want to eat and then starve for a while <laughs> 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 and then go back to them again and then, you know, 
developing new palette and you know it's it's uh, it's 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 a positive adventure for once it's um I, I feel like uh, I may win this game and, mm. and, and, and ways that I hadn't even thought about. Um, so, um, so, who has the cue on this? Beth, the soprano. Beth. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's your cue gonna be? The window. Playing my line, right? It was playing your line. Top line. Yeah. Okay. That was perfect. I didn't miss a single <laughs> beat. Oh shoot. Yes. He was he was giving you the tradition of the ancient Greeks. He was cueing you as the speaker, you see. Yeah. Well yes. that's what I uh, but I and, yeah. <laughs> I still got confused. <laughs> um, he was right there. Oh, my goodness. Let's try it again. Okay. 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 window Okay. I feel lighter already. Lighter already. <laughs> so listen, are all relationships neurotic episodes? Um, you know, by that, by neurotic episodes, I mean stories that you want to come out differently. You know, and so you pick this, you you populate them with similar characters, similar similar personality types. See if I can make this work this time. Um, but of course, it doesn't work this time because you populated it with similar, you know, it's the same plot, same character-driven plot, and um, and then after a while, maybe, you know, let's say you live to be, you know, a few hundred years old, three hundred years old, and or even if you don't live that long, and after a while, your new relationships maybe 
they become the basis for the next neurotic episode. You know, the, 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 they must be evolving. And, and um, so, so maybe, like in my story, I was thinking the advantage of living a long life uh, is, is, is that, pe this, that you can solve more. Uh, a, a therapist told me, I've been in therapy many times in my life, a therapist told me that you, you, don't, you don't stop doing the destructive things, the things that are destructive to you. you. You always keep doing them, but as you get better, you do them for shorter periods of time. So the bad relationship that lasted two years before you figured it out, or 10 years, you know, it lasts two weeks, and you got it, now you got it nailed. You know, that's, 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 that's the way it's played. That's the way it works out. I knew a guy one time told me he'd been married five times, he made the same mistake each time. Try. Which would you like to try, fixed or Alfred Hitchcock construction? Uh, Alfred Hitchcock construction. Well, let's try that. So this is about the way Alfred Hitchcock builds his stories, or and, and his stories are visual. You know, they're not just on page. They're not on the page at all. They're stories, visual stories, movies, uh, and um, so I'm, I'm an admirer, but not uh, sheepishly. And um, <laughs> no, he didn't. But um, so, who has the cue? Beth. Oh my goodness. Beth. Yeah.
but we're getting really close. We got a minute to go. This is traveling music. Alligators, alligators, you can find us on the web. This is the fact, signing out for temporary, temporarily signing out. See you soon, I hope. Bye. Okay, now we have to. I just have to move back a bit. Okay, but that has to be addressed with the 